Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jose Soto. And just like you, I'm an average college student, struggling with time and struggling with the budget. But hey, let's face it, who really has time to cook for themselves? But that's why I'm here. I'm here to teach you guys how to make an awesome home-cooked meal away from home, even with the little time and the little money you have today. Yep, all this here on Coop's Kitchen. Hey guys, what's up? So on today's episode, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a triple BLT, a big bite BLT. Now I know what y'all thinking, a sandwich, what? Well, I really wanna be able to introduce you guys into the kitchen. So what better way than a simple sandwich? Plus, it involves one of our best friends, bacon. So let's get down to business, y'all. The ingredients you will need are some bacon, the star of the show, a loaf of sliced bread for this episode, I'm using white, tomatoes, lettuce, some mayonnaise, and of course, my boys, salt and pepper to taste. All right, let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is cook our bacon. So just take your bacon, and you don't even have to use any knife work. Look how nifty this is. There's a peel sign right here, and all we're gonna do is just peel the package, and boom, we can access all this beautiful bacon, easy and simple. All right, now let's go take this to the stove. All right, so let's turn on the stove. And what we're gonna need to do is set it to a really low temperature. Now I know what you're thinking, a low temperature, why? The bacon's not gonna cook fast enough. Well see, like other meats, that if you have the pan at a really high heat and place the meat in there, it's gonna stick and that's gonna be very messy and very hard to clean up. Also, bacon emits a lot of grease. So further in the cooking process, if the heat is too high and intense, it's gonna start to splatter all over and it's gonna be very dangerous for the cook. And also too, once you get hit with one of those grease splatters, it hurts a lot, all right? So now that the pan's nice and warm, let's put our bacon in. Okay, cool, so what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna open the package right here. We're just gonna take one piece of bacon at a time and slowly add it to the pan. And that sizzle is a good sign that the pan is ready, and man, is it just such a beautiful thing to hear. All right, so now I'm just gonna continue adding bacon to the pan. And you're gonna wanna do like about three at a time. You don't wanna overcrowd the pan. And once you feel like it's ready, at certain times, just grab your pair of tongs like so. And what you're gonna do is to flip, flip your bacon so it can be evenly cooked on both sides. And just cook it until however, however long you want, depending on if you want your bacon nice and chewy or if you want it nice and crispy. I like it in the middle, so I'm just gonna leave it in until you see a, like a nice golden brown. <laughs> So, if you don't have access to a stove and just an oven, like, you know, if you were to live in CB2 or something like that, then what you can do is just get a normal cookie sheet like this, light it with foil, and take some bacon like so, and just light it across your pan. You know, not, not only if you don't have a stove, but this is also great if you have, like, a big group of friends to uh, cook for. This gets a lot of bacon cooked. Beautiful. Just line it up like so. Then what you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And once your oven reaches that internal temperature, just grab your pan of bacon, stick it right in the oven to cook. And just like with the pan, you can just take out your bacon once in a while and just flip it so it can cook nice and evenly on both sides. Then once it's ready, just take that bad boy out. Beautiful. <laughs> So now that the bacon's done, what we're going to do is that we're just going to take a normal plate and cover it with a paper towel. And what this does is that this helps drain all the fat off the bacon. And so now we're just going to use our tongs, carefully take the bacon off, and place it on here like so. And now the pan's ready for the next set of bacon, and all you're going to want to do is just let this cool for about 5 to 10 minutes. So while we do that, let's work on toasting the bread. So before we touch any other ingredients though, what's really important is that we need to wash our hands. Mainly because it's sanitary and also whenever you work with raw meats and all that, you got to wash your hands so you won't cross-contaminate anything. Alright? Alright, 
Alrighty, so now for the toast. All you're going to want to do is just grab three slices of bread and carefully place them onto the oven rack. And once you've done so, just grab an oven mitt or any dish towel and just push the rack right into the oven like so. And once they're ready, nice and toasted, just grab a spatula and just carefully slide them onto a plate. Now those bad boys are ready to serve. So what we need to do now is slice up the tomato. So first things first, we need to cut off this end. Now when cutting a tomato or just anything, make sure that you curl your hand so you won't cut your fingers off and just use it kind of like a guide. Just go down with your knife, and slice it like so. Kind of like a miniature saw. All right, so continue using the guide. Your hand as a guide, curled up. Just a nice, beautiful cut like that. All right, so I'm gonna continue cutting these tomatoes and get right back with y'all when I'm done. Awesome, now that we have all of our ingredients together, let's start building this tasty sandwich. First it off, grab one slice of toast, then grab your mayo and squirt a little bit of mayo on one side of the toast. Then grab your spreading knife and just spread that mayonnaise. And what that mayonnaise does is acts like a glue agent to hold all the sandwich together. Next, rip off a few leaves of lettuce and place it on top like so. Then grab your sliced tomatoes, I'd say about three of them, and place it right on top. And here's where the kicker comes. Grab your pepper and sprinkle a little bit, and of course, you do it to taste. And do the same with salt. After that, grab your star of the bacon, and just like the tomatoes, I say grab about three. Place them right on top like so. Then, grab one more slice of toast, voila. Put mayonnaise on it. And spread it. And after that, just put the bread on top and give it a nice smash. Once you do that, you're just going to repeat all those steps all over again. And once the sandwich is done, bam. So look at this bad boy, it looks awesome, huh? But I bet it tastes just as great. So let's give this a try. And take my big knife here and just cut right down the middle like so. You're gonna wanna hold this sandwich together because it's pretty big. You can, lose con uh, you can lose control. All right, and now let's cut it. Ooh, and look at that. All those beautiful layers. Mmm, let's give it a try. Mmm, delicious. You can taste all the lettuce, you can taste the tomato. The toasting of the bread is just perfect. And that salt and pepper just adds a nice little oomph to it. This is great. Hey, but don't take my word for it. Let's take this to the campus. What do you think about it? How's it taste? It's pretty good. Really good. It has um, just the right amount of bacon and some and everything. It's like a really good amount of it's really good. It's delicious. It's really creamy and awesome. It has a lot of both flavor. In it. <laughs> That's what I love to hear. Yeah. So would you believe if I told you that this was made in a college kitchen dorm? No. I mean, I could believe you now that I think about it. Um. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's like anyone can make this. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Cool. Uh, it was pretty. It was pretty easy. Anyone can do it. And all. And the best part is, is that all three of these sandwiches cost nine dollars, which means that each sandwich is three dollars. That's a lot of bang for your buck for a college kid. Three dollars a sandwich. Yeah. Right now we're eating. So it's like like one twenty. I mean, if you like to do that. Maybe like ninety. So yeah. Yeah, that's definitely. I'm gonna have to try it out myself. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a lot too. Yeah. Bang for your buck right there for a college right. student. That's awesome. This was so easy to make. I'm very good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. Awesome dish and very simple, very easy to make and very cost effective. All from the Cougar Market too. Well, uh, that's all the time I have for today. 
My name is Jose Soto, and just remember, if a simple college student like me can make a home-cooked meal away from home, then Soto can you. Go Cougs! <laughs>